getting dumped over the phone is hardly a fate befitting of one of the favorite men in the paddock. But that is exactly what has happened to Haas team principal Gunter Steiner. In what was a suitably characterful interview at the Autosport International show on Saturday, Gunter revealed just how his exit from the team that he put blood, sweat and tears into came to be and was fairly brutal about his delivery of the news. But what of his future? Many fans of Gunter, whether due to his hilarious pit wall interviews during Sky's coverage or quotable drive to survive stardom, will now want to know the next steps of the ex-team principal. So what can be garnered from the reveals that he made, but more importantly, is there any room in the paddock for the now maligned fan favourite? Want to know what has been revealed by Gunter? The conditions of his exit are pretty heartbreaking and are especially damning for his ex-boss. And stick around because Gunter may have a sneaky move up his sleeve that would shake the F1 world. So the Autosport International event has been and gone, with the interest receiving a real shot in the arm just days before as it was announced that, despite his departure from Haas, Gunter Steiner would indeed still be talking. The Italian was as open as you'd expect from him, with him not exactly being known for holding his tongue or approaching topics delicately. However, However, he started off with a somewhat tender and heartbreaking reveal. Gunter Steiner was dumped over a phone call over the Christmas break, meaning he didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to the team that he gave everything to. I didn't have a chance to say thank you to a few people when I left Haas F1. I would just like to thank all the team members who I couldn't give a proper goodbye to when I left. So I'll do it this way, and I want to say also to all the fans that supported us while I was there, it's fantastic. Thank you to everybody for the support I got and I am getting, so I'm mega appreciative. Yeah, it stung not being able to say goodbye, but they all know me and they all know that I appreciate what they did. It's always the best to say it to them. It would be nice to say, hey guys, thanks for what you did for the team. This does not paint Gene Haas in a good light at all, with the lovable head of the team being the whole reason that the team existed in the first place. I'll say it again, without Steiner the team would not exist, so the fact that he was denied the chance to even say goodbye to some of the key members of the team is frankly sickening. Given Gene's seeming lack of direct interest beyond the number next to the team and the drivers in the championships, we can't really say we expected much, but this lack of candor is far below even the lowest expectations we would have of the team owner. This blunt detachment faced by Gunter is perhaps the reason he no longer has any interest in the team that he once loved and put everything into, with the maligned team principal going on to say, I don't know Gene Haas's plans for the future. He didn't share them with me. He doesn't have to, by the way. I'm not actually really interested in it anymore. Before this, Gunter gave a candid comment about how the sport has changed over his time at the helm of Haas, going into how perhaps the sport he so desperately wanted to be a part of changed into a completely different beast, less focused on the racing and more on the off-track cost management, perhaps stemming the creativity and expression of the pure-blooded racers and engineers at the paddock. Since we have had this model, Formula 1 has changed a lot. We saw during COVID just how much bigger it grew, how much difference it all got with the budget cap, how we used the budget cap. If you look at all the other teams, they were all gearing up. They are not gearing up now. They started to gear up some three years ago, some years ago, some last year. You need to invest outside the cost cap to get the best out of the operational cost cap. I wouldn't say it's very complex, but you need to think about really how to operate with the cost cap money. How can you get the most out of it to make the cargo quicker. So the question that everyone naturally has for Gunter is what's next? People don't want to lose out on such a colourful, especially not arguably the most colourful personality from the paddock. There are a couple of ideas about Gunter's future that we have, but for now, this is what the Italian team principal had to say when he was asked if he was looking for more work in Formula 1. If Formula 1 wants me, I don't know. In our situation, I'm not in a hurry, you know? There are always people who will see me around in Formula 1. I've met a lot of people and made a lot of friends. If there's something interesting and which challenges me, yes. But just looking for a job just to stay in F1, maybe that's not what I want. Gunter made his ambitions to strive for more out of Formula 1 if he was indeed to stick around clear, as he would go on to say... I like to be with people, but it needs to be something where I can see a future in it. I don't just want to go there, then move on to the next thing. I want to do something where you can achieve something and you try to get somewhere and then I will do it. 
which is fair. Obviously, no one is entitled to race wins and on-track success, but if the fans of F1 would want to see anyone in and around the paddock succeed, it would definitely be Gunter. So just what exactly could the future look like for Steiner? Well, we think that there are a couple of options that could present themselves in the near future. The first, most likely for the short term, but boring option is that Gunter will focus on his off-track operations. F1 wasn't the only basket his eggs are in, with him having other business ventures outside the world of F1, so Steiner will have a rare opportunity of some peace and quiet to get everything else in his life in order, perhaps expand into new things and have some room to breathe. But just how long will that last? People in F1 have to be built a certain way, where the solace of peace and quiet is wasted on a mind that requires constant new challenges, stimulation and progress towards their ambitions. So we don't think that this is the time that Gunter will just saunter off into the sunset. Something of interest that Gunter said that really got us thinking was about the friends he had made along the way. After all, early into his F1 career, he presided as part of a two-headed giant at Red Bull alongside Christian Horner to herald the team into a new age following the days of Ford and Jaguar. So perhaps we can see our favorite travel show duo kindle a relationship trackside to match their bromance in the vineyards and the cafes. That's right, we want to see Gunter Steiner and Mattia Bonotto lead a tour de force of lovable team leadership in the near future with two potential avenues opening up for them. Both the masters of engineering from Italy, with experience leading teams and working with the modern world of F1. While it could be a case of too many cooks, and you'll have to let us know what you think in the comments, we would love to see this happen. So where could we see this? Option one is Audi, who have been struggling for top of class personnel to lead their team into their first year of their Sauber takeover, actively pursuing Binotto and searching for more engineering minds that could give their engineering program a kick in to life with experience as a technical director. A tag team of Bonotto and Steiner sharing the CTO and team principal roles would make for a powerhouse that would not only invigorate the technical aspects of the team, but also draw the eyes of fans to it as well after a period of bad news and silence emanating from the new entrant. This star power is what could prompt our other line of thinking. While it could mean taking a step back from direct control, something that may well be welcome after so long of having microphones shoved into his face and his face alone at heart, us, Alpine could prove another venture well worth exploring for Gunter. Stepping into a technical role would be an opportunity for Gunter to step back into a purer part of the sport. However, it would also bring some star power to the team. This is something that the investments from the likes of Ryan Reynolds and his merry men could all perhaps call for, with the opportunity for a return on investments heavily hinging on making one of the most indifferent or perhaps even unlikable teams into an actually likable product from which they can gain positive attention. Having a lovable personality like Gunter bashing the arrogant heads of their drivers together would make for immediate delight and would bring far more eyes onto a team that has failed to make any positive ground both on or off track for a few years now. So no matter where he ends up, we hope we hear his voice on the coverage of F1 once more. However, for the time being, the future is not clear for Gunter Steiner. Whether tag teaming with Bonotto, doing the impossible with Alpine, or just the odd media appearance, we are sure this is not the last we will hear from Gunter Steiner.